five cent coin has a special nickname, nickel. The metal has a silvery sheen and gets resistant to abrasion and corrosion when alloyed with copper. Such properties make it the perfect material for coins in many countries. The five cent coin contains more nickel than other coins, hence the name nickel. Today we will delve into the coin's ingredient, nickel. Nickel's atomic number is 28 and its symbol is Ni. Its melting point is 1,455 degrees Celsius and boiling point 2,732 degrees Celsius. The silvery white metal is also hard, tough, and resistant to rust since it is markedly resistant to oxidation in air. So it is widely used for plating or as a material for making an alloy to prevent corrosion. About 60% of global nickel production goes for making stainless steel, a corrosion-resistant alloy often employed for kitchen utensils, building materials, and cars. Also, the metal can become ferromagnetic at ambient temperature. Alnico, an alloy composed of aluminum, nickel, and cobalt, is a good example of a permanent magnet. Then, when did humans start using nickel? Its history can be traced back to 3500 BCE. It has been found in the bronze relics that contained about 2% nickel from what is now Syria. Also, some ancient Chinese writings describe the use of coins made of an alloy consisting copper and nickel between 1700 and 1400 BCE. These coins are said to have been introduced to ancient Greece or Rome and were used for making coins there. However, nickel alloys of those times meant natural ores or iron meteorites that contained nickel, not smelted nickel. Later, in medieval Germany, miners found red ores in Erzgebirge. They believed the ores contained copper and attempted to extract some in vain. Instead, they just got poisonous gas from the ores. They believed that it was the mischievous work of the devil and named the ores Kupfernickel, or Devil's Copper. Then, in 1751, Swedish metallurgist Axel Fredrik Kronsted conducted an experiment to extract copper from Kupfernickel. Unexpectedly, he obtained a white metal instead. He dropped the kupfer from Kupfernickel and called it nickel. As such, the element nickel was introduced to the world. Nickel has been mainly used for producing coins or stainless steel, but it is receiving fresh attention in the EV market. That's because the element is an important battery cathode material that decides battery performance. The most used cathode material for lithium-ion batteries is nickel cobalt manganese. Nickel is such a good ingredient that the more nickel content in a cathode, the higher the energy density and the longer the driving range of the EV on one charge. The industry is pursuing development of high nickel battery that has a higher portion of nickel instead of costly cobalt. To replace NCM that has a 1 to 1 to 1 ratio of each element, they came up with the NCMA that adds aluminum and has a higher portion of nickel. Going forward, the demand for nickel is expected to grow along with the importance to secure the commodity as the industry is making efforts to improve the performance of the EV battery. The largest holder of nickel reserves is Indonesia, with over 20% of global reserves and over 30% of global production according to the Korea Resources Corporation. Clearly, there will be fiercer competition between companies over nickel. LG Energy Solution responded quickly to the global trend, gaining nickel mining rights in Indonesia while making an agreement with the Indonesian government to build a battery cell plant of 10 gigawatt hours a year in a joint investment with Hyundai Motor Group. A global leader in the battery industry, LG Energy Solution plans to produce batteries cooperatively as well as secure nickel in the country. We have investigated nickel, an important element of battery cathode materials. We will come back with manganese, another cathode material. Bye!